Hi, I'm Zikra Arif. Welcome to Bright Brain. Reflection and Refraction of Waves Light is a popular energy and the fastest thing in the world. As known by everyone, light travels in a straight line. And today we are going to study about the bending of light. Reflection of Light Light has some characteristics. Such one is reflection. Light is composed of very thin light rays which travel in straight lines. Light travels through a vacuum or a transparent medium in straight lines and reflects when strikes on a reflecting surface such as a mirror. Bouncing back of light ray into the same medium when strikes on a surface is known as reflection of light. Reflection occurs very often in our day-to-day life, not only in mirrors but in every object we see. Each and every object reflects light and there are not any object that doesn't reflect light. If there are, it's simply being visible. So, if you want to make an invisible suit, try to find an object which doesn't reflect light. Reflection of light by plane mirrors We know about plane mirrors since we studied them in the past grades. Now we are going to draw the reflection of light ray. Look at this video. First, we are going to draw a plane mirror. Next, the incident ray. Now, the reflection ray. This perpendicular line is called the normal line. Laws of Reflection There are two laws of reflection. The first one is when light is reflecting that the incident ray, reflecting ray and the normal line are in the same plane. Second one is that the values of the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are equal. Regular Reflection and Diffuse Reflection 
regular reflection is done in smooth surfaces where parallel light rays are reflected parallelly it is done in plane mirrors diffuse reflection it is done by rough surfaces where parallel lights are reflected in various directions this is the most common one because every object we see is using diffuse reflection characteristics of images formed in a plane mirror virtual upright equal to the size of the object object distance and image distance are equal lateral inversion occur uses of plane mirrors it's used in beauty salons to watch your own face in shops to show the number of items increased to reflect light for laboratory activities to produce multiple images to observe the shape and the back side of the costumes when selecting items for fashion activities to observe back side of the head when one is having a haircut in a salon for making kaleidoscopes and periscopes that's it for today thanks for watching i'll meet you in the next video meanwhile like share subscribe and give your valuable comments bye